So guys, this is my review for Finna Pirate Prin Princess Episode 2. And with that, let's dive right into this review, guys. Let's get it. So Episode 2 uh, picks up basically right where it left off in Episode 1, where Finna was able to escape with the help of these uh, samurai warriors here, these ninjas here. And they are on this boat. They're, they're out to sea, floating in a specific direction. Uh, you know, Finna was woken up by her dog, uh, by, by Brule. Who, who was also in the episode from episode one, um, he came along, he, he decided to stick and stay with them. Um, but basically they are telling Finna that they were able to escape uh, without fail. Now, one of the things that I thought was occurring during episode one was that, that Odo, Salmon, and, and uh, Finna didn't know that uh, these specific characters were around helping them but actually Odo knew about their existence um it was it was all mapped out planned out uh from his side of things but, but Salmon didn't know anything about it of course Finna didn't know so Odo knew um which is why he 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 had them come along with him during the journey to to, to rescue Finna but once once we get out to sea then this island pops up, and even Odo even calls it by name, calling it Goblin Island. Um, it randomly just pops up like it was like, I, at first I thought it was like a thunderstorm coming up and brewing, but actually it was just this island popping up. Um, and it kind of looked like it was floating on its own, but I don't, I, I'm don't. i going to guess and say it's just the island that's just, just a specific random island out to sea. And it's not like an island that's moving on its own, but this is where they reside. And we find out some key information uh, about Finna, about her past, and about these warriors and another specific character in episode two. So once they get a little bit of com just a little bit comfortable on the island, they end up meeting this guy here. His name is uh, Sonata Yuki Yuki Hisa, and he is basically the elder of this place. And he has a, a very uh, interesting conversation with uh, Finna. Um, and it's, it's basically told that Odo uh, was out during travels and he ends up finding out that Finna is still alive and well. He comes back and reports and uh, a Sonata uh, then offers the, war the, the assistance of the warriors that we saw earlier in the image uh, of uh, episode two that they went out to basically help save and rescue Finna. And he basically talks to her. Uh, giving her a story of of his great grandfathers, well, well specific, specifically the people uh, that are living on this island, their great grandfathers, of them being out and they they shipwreck on a beach, and it's specifically this island, and specifically that that uh, they put their they entrusted their lives to a specific family, the Houtman family, which is the last name of Finna. Finna's last name Finna's last name is Houtman. So. Uh, her father uh, is connected to Sonata and his people. So his her her father um, fought alongside Sonata in his younger years, um, and so it was just like you know, just key information that I really was glad that this was brought to her attention. But he also brings up something else interesting uh, in this scene here as well. And so he talks to her about this stone here. He says there's a this stone is connected to another stone um, and the whereabouts of this stone is only uh, can only be found through Fenna. She has to know some information about the whereabouts of more about this stone and the connection to the other other part of the stone. Um, and the thing about it is, is that uh, Fenna's father dies. Uh, and in his last words to Sonata is protect this stone with your life and of course protect my daughter with your life as well um, and he's basically telling her like you you must know uh, about the stone and where it came from but Fenda's like she doesn't know anything about it and he's just telling her you you I'm gonna need you to like really think upon this I'm gonna give you uh, several hours you're gonna you know, basically she spends the night here uh, and you know, she she has to really ponder on some memories from literally ten years ago, and 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 even further more to try to remember uh, any information, any key information 
on on what on what this stone or where the stone came from which of course we're going to find out a little bit later in the episode throughout the next day she ends up meeting uh, Ka uh karen here she also meets uh makaba she meets this other guy named uh shaitan uh, and a few other characters even like uh, a pair of twins as well um and like i said she's sort of giving get, getting the tour from karen but she goes off and she uh is basically in search of i want to say she's in search of uh uh, Yukimaru, but during her her searching of him, uh, she runs into Makaba with the with this bow the, with this bow here. Um, but there are other various colored bows that he's he's uh, basically like creating and building, um, bu built from sea snail skin. Um, and when she meets uh, Shaitan, uh, he he basically teaches her how to shoot, uh, how to use the bow and the, these bows bow and arrows. And this is Shaitan here. He he's again, like I said, he's showing her how to shoot the bow and arrow. Because when she first, uh, when we first got introduced to him, he was actually shooting, practicing with the with the bow and arrow here on some targets. And the way he was shooting them, the arrows were going off on a curve, on a slant, and then they would hit the the target. But when she tried to attempt to do so, she was missing every t every chance that she got. But again, Shaitan he he helps her. You know shoot her shoot an arrow correctly and actually it does indeed does the same thing it does curve and it actually hits the middle of a target so it was really cool really funny moment but it was really cool to see her do this on her first actual real attempt um with a little bit of help and it was just really really cool to see guys now a few hours later going into the night she actually does run into this is indeed yukimaru um and i, I want to say that this is him from her past that um that he's you know now grown up 10 years later he's taller um and he's a, he's actually a part of the the group of guys that were protecting her um he was the one in in the uh, all red uh uh samurai suit right and they were having a conversation and basically uh finna was just saying like you know it's good to see you. you you know you you gotten older and you know you used to do this you used to do that you know when we were kids but the, the funny thing that i found out about that i find about this scene here guys is that yukimaru is not he's not like claiming to be the yukimaru of her past not so much like where i'm sitting back like like that's a bad thing that he's not doing but it's like he's not really acknowledging that and he he's more so on the serious side of just talking to her her about just like like look like it's like he's basically ignoring the fact that we knew each other when we were kids he's more focused again he talks to her he tells her like look like you like like you need to know this information about this stone here you have to know about this information so that we can move forward you know your your father was really devoted to his mission and we need you to remember uh the key information that we need to be able to continue this journey that was this is what yukimaru was talking to her about but at the same time i'm i'm just taken aback maybe because you you know yukimaru here because he's older he's just kind of been more trained to not focus on the emotional aspect of himself as a character as a person and just be more so devoted to uh to just being uh, more focused to a mission to whatever it is that is more serious so i kind of just feel like he's just like like yeah that's all good and dandy that that you you remember us as we were kids but ultimately i'm about business and we need to continue to continue your father's uh journey with this stone and trying to find out this information um so again this scene was was it was funny a little bit because of finna and what she was trying to have the conversation with him about but at the same time um and even with that 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 uh thing on the side on his left side there that's like a knife or something i think i believe he bops her with it over her head again um and he walks off but it's just like he he was just like i said in the scene he was more serious and just like look we need to focus on what really truly is uh the main focus and that is your father's 
uh, mission in the past uh, and we need to continue that moving forward. So after that conversation between her and Yukimaru and her and him leaving the knife with her, she ends up taking that knife and she cuts her hair off, which was definitely it. It was definitely a shocker to me. I thought she was actually going to keep her hair long uh, moving forward. But I, I think she looks uh, pretty with her with her hair cut short. Um, it was again, it was just more like like I was just like, wow, like she really cut her hair. OK. All right. That's that's I wasn't expecting that. Um, also, too, because, you know, because of the fact that uh from key stuff online it just looked like sh she was going to be keeping her hair moving forward but you know that that's just something that i just wanted to talk about real quick but in this scene she ends up coming to sodom sadana uh and just talking to him about basically one key thing and she remembers and that is when at the beginning of episode one where i want to say that was her father um, and he tells, he's yelling down to her, like, you need to um, get to Edna. And she talks to Sadana about that. Like, one thing I remember specifically, he said, and it was this place called Edna. And so with that, uh, Sadana calls Yukimaru and crew to them. But like, just he like lowers his hand and they just pop up out of nowhere, right? <laughs> really cool, really cool scene. And he's just like, the, you know, these people here, they're devoted to protect you and keep you safe. And they're going to go with you. They're going to head with you to, to journey to, to the place called Edna. And we're going to continue your father's uh, business here. And with that, that's when we find out what, uh, what vehicle that they're traveling on during their journey. And that vehicle here is this boat here. Uh, it's powered by springs. Um, and they, this is what they're going to be traveling on. Uh, Karen is the one that designed the the boat but her father who who was a shipwright is the one that actually built it um and so with that they there's also like a little uh funny but but kind of a little bit of a sad moment uh between uh finna and odo and salmon because uh odo and salmon is going to be staying here while finna goes off which i'm i'm actually sad about because i'm just like they had such a great introduction to odo and salmon's character that i was i was actually hoping that that well, I was I was actually expecting them to continue to be by her side, but I guess I can understand why they wouldn't go with her just because, you know, she has, you know, you can borrow and crew with her who are more trained to be able to handle any threat that comes Finna's way. But again, I still felt feel like that they should have still been with her during her journey, which I believe can still happen. Maybe they'll maybe they'll still, uh, you know hop on another boat or or whatever and sneak on another boat and, and go and and end up traveling with them and catching up to them basically uh a little bit later on in the app in the anime so but this is the boat that they're going to be traveling on doing the journey uh moving forward and looking for uh edna and so all in all guys i enjoyed episode two um which i forgot to mention is called uh if i remember it's called an inheritance journey um that's the title of the episode. Uh, but I enjoyed episode two, guys. I really, really did. Really, really good and great episode. Great introductions to a lot of the characters um, that, we've, that we've seen from episode one. And even some introductions to some newer characters. Um, but all in all, episode two was really, really good. And I'm looking forward to watching uh, episodes three and four to come. So hopefully I'll be able to be caught up with the anime. We'll be able to continue to... Uh, do review videos weekly uh, as these episodes are pushed out uh, each week but with that guys let me know your thoughts below in the comments below what did you all think of episode two when you first on first sat down and watch um, let me know your thoughts let's talk about some things below but other than that i will talk to you all next time with more finna pirate princess peace guys